good morning or afternoon, year nine and ten, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say a big well done to everyone that submitted excellent work last week. Um, almost all of you attempted the quiz, which is great, and loads of you sent me the second task, which was a really good analysis of that article. So just a recap, last week we looked at how theatre can be used to look at political issues and help people, not just to make money. And we also looked at how theatre has changed during the pandemic, with people watching more and more theatre online, and that is something you're going to experience today. What I want you to start, like, think about at the start is, how do you access media right now? Media can cover televisions, films, stories, um, anyone telling a story, anyone where someone's performing, sending out a message to you. Because there's so many ways. When I grew up, it was the television. Then it might have become the internet. We've got so many different ways now. We might watch things on Netflix. You might watch things on YouTube. You might go to a web page and see a specific video or article that someone has written. You might do what I do and you might listen to podcasts. I listen to hours and hours of podcasts on random topics. Sometimes it's about um, crimes that have happened in the past. Sometimes it's about fav famous people's favourite food. Sometimes it's analysing a TV show I love. And you might simply have just watched it on a television in an old-fashioned way. But there's so many ways for us to access media, isn't there? And as we looked at last week, what's what's the, the reason to go to a theatre anymore? If you don't have money, you're simply just going to go on Netflix instead, aren't you? So this video that you're going to watch now talks about that and talks about how the National Theatre a few years ago tried to um, experiment with this and think, how can we reach more people? So... I'm not going to show the video in the video like I tried last week because we all know it went wrong and I got in trouble with YouTube for copywriting. Um, but what I want you to do is the following. You're going to go to... Um, on. So here's the video you'll be watching. That's going to say have a stock drama. And I'm going to put a link at the bottom, two links. And I want you to follow the first link which leads you to a video called infusing theatre into digital mediums. I do not want you to watch all of this 14 minute video. I only want you to watch minutes two to minutes 11. Okay, so you're gonna start at two minutes and when you get to about 11 minutes, you're going to stop, okay? You don't need to listen to everything he says, but um, he talks a lot about the national theatre. And yes, his accent is not a traditional British accent. I can't tell if he's American or Irish, but he works for the National Theatre in London. So that's what I want you to do now is go and watch that video, please. And then once you've done that, I want you to come back here and watch the rest of this video. OK, thank you. If you're back, I'm going to assume that means that you have watched this video. Now, one of the productions that that man was talking about um, he was talking about the company National Theatre Live. And today we're going to look at one of the productions that they've got on offer, free on the internet, for four days only. And that is a Shakespeare play called Coriolanus. And it was performed at the Donmar Warehouse. So National Theatre, you most of you will know there's a big National Theatre on uh, the South Bank. But they also have performances in different theatres around London. I never got to see this production, but it has a really cool cast, okay? So just a few of the actors in this are Tom Hiddleston, who you'll know is playing Loki from the Avengers. Um, you'll know him from other things as well. We've got Alfred Enoch, who was Dean in Harry Potter and was a big character in How to Get Away with Murder. And you've got Mark Gattis, who wrote and acted in Sherlock, um, Dracula at Christmas, many other things. So you've got a really good cast performing a classic Shakespeare play. Now, you would be right, and we're well within your right to be thinking right now, oh my God, it's Miss Venn about to make me watch a Shakespeare play. Uh, what is the point in that? And I am, but I want you to think about the following themes. All of these themes are in this play, and I can't help but notice how relevant they are to modern situation, okay? So, one of the themes, class. So it's a crucial theme in the play. People are accorded and ranked, um, given power and respect according to their class. And the rebellion that throws out the main character is based on class. Throughout the play, there's an idea that the class you were born into 
determines how worthy you are, how much power you get, how intelligent you are. And then we've got the past versus progress. It's a tug of war in the play between the people who wanted the ways of the past and the people that wanted major change in their institutions. I'm sure as you've been listening to me, you've been thinking, that sounds really familiar and it does to me as well. If we change class to race, there are people in the world that believe one's race determines your worth, your autonomy and your intelligence. Or the past versus progress. There are people who want to continue with what's going on in the world and there are people who want progress in their institutions to end racism. Think about that because that's quite important actually and Shakespeare deals a lot with race and many people believe that Shakespeare's plays can be racist and that's something to think about. There's of course two other themes that um, made me think of someone in the modern world. So we've got words versus actions. Coriolanus, the main character, uses words as if they were actions and thinks that by hurling as many brutal words around as he can, he might just win his argument. And pride. He's so proud and has such arrogance that he uh, governs by that. He leads by his pride. He would have been able to make up with people if he had, and if he hadn't offended them in the first place, but he won't back down because of his pride. That sounds like someone familiar, doesn't it? I'll leave that there. It's just a thought, just something that seemed quite familiar. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the second link. And that second link at the bottom here is going to take you to this. The official Donmar Warehouse's Coriolanus with Tom Hiddleston. Free National Theatre Live full play. Now you are incredibly lucky that you've got access to this and it is only until Thursday. But I'm not going to make you watch all two and a half hours. If you want to, amazing, do it. But what I want you to do is to have watched at least 30 minutes. You can pick whatever 30 minutes you want. You might just want to watch the first 15 minutes in the introduction and then move to the last 15 minutes. But as long as you've watched 30 minutes of it. Because task three is to write a short review of what you did watch. Okay, because when we get to our um, parts of our unit and our BTEC, you'll uh, have to write reviews of plays and talk about things. So you're going to get used to that now. In your review, I want you to cover the following bullet points. The title of the show you saw, where you saw it, and there is key, isn't it, to mention that you saw it on National Theatre Live from your home. One sentence about the plot of the show. And then what did you like about it and what do you think could have been better? Now you can talk about whatever you want here. You can focus solely on the costumes or the lighting or the acting or the set. And something that here that you can talk about that you couldn't if you were in the theatre is the camera angles. Do you think that the way it was filmed was just because they needed to get a good view from the stage without getting the audience in? Or do you think they filmed it in specific ways? They zoomed in at moments to highlight maybe a really personal moment. Or they did it from the side and someone in the shadow to show they were suspicious. It is completely up to you, but I want these submitted in the usual way. Handwritten, if you want. Or written into a comment box. You can always do it on Word if you want, but these are the two easiest ways. Um, message me if you have any problems. Enjoy watching the show. I'm looking forward to reading your reviews. And as usual, have fun.